Hi Cancer, this is Amani and welcome to your general weekly reading for March 6 to March 12, 2017. Understand that these are very broad messages and they may or may not resonate with your personal life situation. Okay Cancer, let's begin. On Monday, the card that you have is the devil. Okay, um, don't be too alarmed by seeing this. It is a sign of Capricorn, so this could be a person that you're dealing with. Okay, and I'm feeling like um, if this is going to be a person that you're dealing with, I'm feeling truth. All right, you're finding out, possibly you're finding out some kind of truth about a person or about some kind of relationship in your life. Okay, another way that this is coming off to me is that you're trying to get the truth out of someone as well. Maybe someone cheated, maybe someone lied. All right, so you're trying to get, you're trying to dig for the truth here in a situation. Okay, or if this is going to be a person, they're trying to dig out the truth about a situation from you, okay? Possibly something that you had going on on a personal level, okay? And I'm feeling like um, something to do with children, all right? So maybe there was some kind of lie told about possibly um, how this feels to me is someone, someone pretended to be pregnant or someone pretended that they had a child. Um, they wanted to make it seem like they were um, impregnated by someone else and I'm feeling like they possibly like they lied about it all right um, I'm feeling like a, like a fib something about a fib all right so someone is lying possibly like about a child having a child or having had taken care of one all right and I'm feeling like I had a lot to do with attention okay this could have been um I don't know if this is really you lying to someone else about being pregnant okay is and you're um, being confronted about this situation is how I feel like mostly just confrontation all right this feels like confrontation to me okay like um and I feel like uh, it's more the devil has to deal with fear to me also so there there could be fear also in telling the truth about a pregnancy maybe um, you have to tell you're telling someone that you're pregnant you're not necessarily hiding it but you're revealing it to them and there's some kind of fear attached to that okay on Tuesday you have the Sun card the Sun card has to do with success at work at home and family life etc it also has to do with doctors visits and, and things of that nature okay with this, I'm feeling like uh, someone you know or you yourself um, is getting an ultrasound done, possibly to check to see if, um, you know, to see if a baby, because I know you can get checked to see if a baby has Down syndrome, you know, things of that nature, okay? And you just want to make sure that the baby is healthy, the baby is breathing, um, that everything looks good is what I feel like. It's upright, so that it goes to show that that is a positive um, result coming from your ultrasound visit, okay? Because taking from Monday, your fear about, you, there could have been a fear about being pregnant as well, and you're going and you're trying to find out what the real truth is. Is it possible? Like, you're very shocked also, I feel like, in terms of finding out if you're actually pregnant. So that's why you're going to the doctor possibly to check and see, you know, is this for real? Am I really pregnant? Or what's going on with the baby? I was doing all kinds of activities that I shouldn't have been doing while pregnant. And um, and now you're trying to make sure that everything is okay. Now that you know, for sure. Okay? Um, on Wednesday, you have the magician. The magician is all about making things happen for yourself um, on a mystical level or even in, a pr in your practical world. Okay? Where your finances, family, relationships, etc. Okay? Um... Hmm. With this, I feel like um, there is, I'm actually picking up an actual hospital name off of this. Okay, so someone is willing to take someone, um, what, I don't know if this, I know Downstate, okay, was the name, is was the name I was picking up from this card. I know that is a hospital name in New York City. But now when I think about it, if I hear Downstate, I'm thinking that, uh, someone might actually be moving down south possibly with someone else and you're finding this out 
okay, is what I feel like. If this is going to be down south or a different part of New York, but somewhere towards the south is what I feel like, okay, with this card. And I also feel like um, if this is going to be like going back to school, this is like you're going back to school, but you're you're going like down south somewhere. All right, is another feeling that I get off of this. But it's very positive. It's, there's nothing negative really um, coming off of this card for me. Okay, and definitely school because I feel like um, someone is definitely going back to finish their pursue their degree or to get another degree is what I feel like with this card. Okay, um, and from Monday there it's possibly some kind of fear in going back to school because maybe someone had been out of school for a while um for whatever reasons it could have been a medical one like with the sun there on tuesday and um maybe someone is going to have to just uh make a whole new drastic move in terms of relocating in order to get everything that they need to better themselves is what i also feel like okay but i feel like you're not alone in that process i do feel like you do have help in terms of family and friends that are around you okay on Thursday, you have the Queen of Wands here. This is an Aries that you're dealing with, okay? I feel like this is a cousin. I'm hearing a cousin, okay? Um, this person could be coming to you with some kind of news, possibly about something going on earlier in the week with something. Like I was picking up hospital visits, all right? So this person could be coming in and telling you about a family member not being well or... Um, but this person is very emotional as well, is what I feel like, okay? They're emotionally coming in and expressing how they feel to you, all right? Um, expressing what they feel about a family situation, etc., okay? And what this feels like to me also is... Um, Someone is, is also, uh, this could be a boss that you're dealing with and you're telling your boss that you're willing to take leave. Maybe this was a family situation going on here and there's an, uh, a need to have to take off from work for a while to be with your family, okay? And it could have something to do with the Queen of Wands. This could be a sister or a cousin, etc. It doesn't have to be, but this is someone that um, either isn't well or they're telling you about someone in your family that's not feeling too well. Or they could be a boss that you're interacting with that's telling you, okay, um, I understand that this happened to your family. I understand that you have to be in another place right now. Um, I'm going to be able to work with you so you can take time off for that time. Okay? All right, so that was Thursday. On Friday, you have the four of swords here. This is like retreating. Uh, this is like a rest period for you, okay? And I feel like with your Thursday card, you, you did manage to get the leave that you needed to spend time with your family and friends, all right? And with this, um, it's definitely needed. This is a time period where you just you need to retract from the world. Uh, I guess I'm feeling like whatever news that you received earlier in the week about family, about friends, etc., you are taking the time out to reevaluate your own life is what I feel like, okay? Um, you're taking the time to really think about uh, what would it have been like if I was there with them at that time? Um, what could I have done differently? What could I have said differently to that person? And I'm also feeling some kind of regret having had lost time with someone. I'm feeling all that coming from here, okay? But, um, but I feel like there is good coming out in terms of you refreshing your emotions and refreshing yourself, okay? Okay, so on Saturday, you have temperance. This is the sign of Sagittarius as well, and also has to do with being patient and having patience, okay? With this, I feel like um, someone is definitely judging your character. I'm feeling a judgment of character here, okay? So maybe there's something that you did, um, if this is going to be work, dealing with the Queen of Wands earlier in the week. Sorry about that. Something dropped. Earlier in the week, okay, um, that might actually be a sign uh, that you don't have the patience to deal with a situation, all right? This is dealing with some kind of judgment um, on your part in terms of someone else that you're dealing with, okay? And someone is looking over, like, evaluating you. This could be a, a position that you're trying to get, okay? And someone is looking to hire you and they're critiquing your background, you know, things of that nature, all right? But for some reason, I feel like um, you are a little bit nervous, and it's causing you a bit, uh, some anxiety here and there, okay? You're feeling anxiety, you're nervous about a situation, all right? Um, 
in that case it would be in a reverse I don't normally read reversals but this is how I feel this is the energy that I'm picking up from that card all right just about not feeling very patient in terms of someone judging you I can understand where like for example if someone is uh giving me constructive criticism I don't some um in some cases like in the past I didn't take it very well so that may be this kind of case okay in terms of constructive criticism at work or even in your family things that you can do differently or you're doing this to someone else that isn't really handling it very good okay is what I feel like on Sunday, you have the Emperor, which is a sign of Aries, also a male, a very dominating male figure in your life right now. This could be a police officer is what I feel like, and they could be questioning you. You could, um, they could be asking you questions about a situation, all right, about um, some kind of a uh, family situation that happened earlier in the week, a hospital visit, etc. Um, they're questioning you. They're, I feel like they're also questioning your involvement. I feel like they want to know more about you, who you are. Um, what did you have to do with the situation? There's a lot of questioning that's coming from this card, okay? And I feel like this card also represents Taurus because of the bulls on the side. So this could have something to do with a cousin that is a Taurus, all right? That um, uh, isn't feeling very well, that wants to... This person could also be a doctor, okay? Back to the hospital situation on Tuesday. Um, if this is going to be a doctor, they're asking you, okay, what kind of food was your cousin eating to cause this, them to have this kind of reaction? If it was a re uh, allergic reaction, all right, if this was like a driving situation, um, what were they doing before they got in the car? You know, things like of that nature, okay, is what I feel like. For your outcome for the week, you do have the higher font. Like I said, I was picking up Taurus. So this could very strongly have to do with a Taurus individual or this could be someone who is mentoring you. Um, this could be a teacher, a professor, a doctor, someone who's giving you a lot of good advice, all right, um, to tell you possibly about uh, how to get through a situation in your life. This, I feel like, is counseling, okay? So you could be getting counseling done um, for this week. It does seem a little bit heavy in terms of the energies, okay? So just look out for those kind of things, all right? So you do, you may need counseling. You may need this rest period time here, like earlier in the week. You do need it, all right? And they're trying to, this person, if this is going to be a counselor, is trying to get you through your hard times, Okay, in terms of um, if you do, this is going to be a professor, you do need to finish your last paper before you uh, pass the last exam, before you take your final test. If this is going to be a doctor, they are telling you, they are prescribing you the right medications that you need, um, or if this is someone else that you're interacting with in terms of family doctors and things of that nature. If this is going to be police officer they are telling you giving you details about what's really going on and they're opening your eyes to what you need to see I also feel like um, things have been kept from you pretty much like under the surface and I feel like if this is going to be a counselor they're really opening opening up your eyes to some situations that you didn't really see or pay attention to in the past okay cancer that concludes the end of your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like, if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me via Facebook message or email. Take care, Cancer. Bye.